Today I'm going to be comparing the Simrex drone versus the SEMA X200 drone. Now, as you can see here, both of these are going to be foldable, but the SEMA is actually going to fold much smaller than this Simrex one is. So out is going to be much larger as well. This one, just these part of it is folded in on all of these. Now, as you can see, these are actually spray painted yellow. We lost a ton of these uh, little blades. So we actually spray painted them to try and make it a little bit easier to find. There's going to be one major difference between the Simrex drone and the SEMA X200 drone. And that is that the Simrex actually has a camera on it, whereas this one from SEMA does not. So that is a huge downside to the SEMA X200 versus this Simrex drone. And the Simrex drone, because of that camera, means you can then connect it to an app and control it using your tablet, iPhone, Android, whatever you need to, whereas this one can only be controlled with the controller. And when it comes to the controllers themselves, I actually do prefer the Simrex controller over this one for the um, SEMA. Just being able to actually control this Simrex with your phone, tablet, or device makes it a much better choice in my opinion. I also do love the fact that you can see from it. So if you're recording, um, you can record video with it when you're going up, coming down, that sort of a thing. And then size wise, this one from Simrex is just a bit better. Now in regards to charging, so the SEMA one, you're just going to go ahead and put it into there. With the Simrex, it actually has a battery that you're going to pull out and then you're going to charge the battery itself. So in my opinion, in my opinion, if I had to choose one of these to purchase again, it would definitely be this Simrex, simply because it has a lot more features available to it than this SEMA X200 does. Both of them do fly properly, but one other last thing I did want to mention is that out of the box, the Simrex works 100%. Doesn't need calibrated trim, that sort of thing. Whereas the SEMA one, straight out of the packaging, is not going to fly straight. So you will have to trim it to get it to keep from moving left, right, that sort of thing. The Simrex one, right out of the box when I first purchased it, I got this controller out, I used it, and it flew straight up and then hovered in one spot rather than flying sideways and left, right, and all around like many drones do when you first purchase them. 